Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 4 to the power of n plus 16 to the power of n is equals to 64 to the power of n. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as here you have 4 to the power of n plus we have 16 and we will write it as 4 square and its whole power n and this is whole equals to 4 cubed and its whole power n because here you have 64 and we will write 64 as 4 cubed and now we will apply here the nice exponential law and according to this law we will interchange these two exponents so we will write it as 4 to the power of n plus 4 to the power of n and its whole square equals to 4 to the power of n and its whole cubed. And now we will uh, change this exponential equation into the uh, cubic form so that here uh, we just take y equals to 4 to the power of n. So when you can put y equals to 4 to the power of n then this equation will become in the form of y plus y square equals to y cubed. And now we will rearrange the terms and we can move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side then this equation will become y cubed minus y square minus y equals to 0 and in the next step you will see here y uh, present on each of the terms so that uh, we will take common y here and you obtained y square minus y minus 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 so uh, in the next step we have two cases the first is we take y equals to 0 and the other case is we take y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0 so uh, now first you will focus on the first case and here you see that we have y equals to 0 and here we take the value of y is 4 to the power of n so now we will back substitute the value of y and you will write it as 4 to the power of n equals to 0 and uh, the one thing uh, you will know about the exponential function is that it cannot be 0 or negative so uh, it is not possible an exponential function equals to 0 so it is not possible and we will reject it this case and we can just proceed here this case only so now in this case we will uh, first find the roots of this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so here we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 so now we put uh, all the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula so here you have minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times of a c square root over 2 times of a and now we put the values of a b and c here and you see that we have minus b and b is minus 1 plus minus b square it is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and its square root and this whole over 2 times of a is 1 now we will simplify uh, these terms and you get 1 plus minus here you have minus 1 square is plus 1 and this is minus minus plus 4 square root over 2 and here you obtain 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2 so again here we have two cases 
the first case is we take y equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and the other case is we take y equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and we know that the value of y is 4 to the power of n it is equals to now we divide 1 plus square root 5 over 2 so it will becomes 1.618 and when you can put here then you get 4 to the power of n equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 so here you see that in this case this the right hand side will becomes negative or you just say that the right hand side will be equals to some negative value and the left hand side will be positive value so it cannot be possible an exponential function equals to some negative value so that we will rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only so in this case in order to find the value of n we will take the log on both of the sides so I can write this case here it will becomes 4 to the power of n equals 1.618 so when you can take the log on both of the sides then you get log of 4 to the power of n equals to log of 1.618 and we will apply the property of log and we move this exponent in the front of this log and you get n times of log 4 equals to now we can use the calculator in order to find the value of log 1.618 so the value of log 1.618 is 0 0.2089 and the value of this log 4 is 0 0.602 equals to 0 0.2089 and now we divide this value in the right hand side and you get 0 0.2089 over 0 0.602 so when you divide these two values then we will get here 0 0.347 so finally we have the value of n is 0 0.347 so this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos